well into the uh, year of 2015 and this is my first uh, visions, dreams and insights episode of this new uh, year that is unfolding in front of us. Uh, it has been kind of an odd shift from 2014 into this current year. I think most everyone can relate to the idea that uh, there is a distinct difference in the vibes around us as we have transitioned from uh, the last few years actually into a year that is kind of like a uh, shiny new copper penny. It's all bright and shiny and it does have uh, some aspects that are somewhat curious about it. So perhaps this will be the year for your awakening as well as mine. This episode is about uh, <clears throat> an interesting and uh, sometimes confounding phenomena. A spirit spoke to me this morning when I was standing out on the back deck watching the drizzle coming down and uh, enjoying the somewhat balmy 38 39 degree weather outside which for Chicago is an anomaly this time of year but that inner voice said um, isn't it interesting how the act of self-preservation is the thing that destroys us most quickly and I thought well that's a curious thing to hear from uh, that higher source aren't we all here trying to survive as long as we can to wring every ounce of uh, vitality out of each moment as it unfolds in front of us and then as I continued to uh, play around with those series of ideas uh, another image came into my mind's eye of uh, being a mason we're all like little bricklayers out there and every time we put another brick in place in our wall of protection we are in fact putting another nail in our coffin what a uh, bizarre and <clears throat> paradoxical universe we have created for ourselves here so running with um, these kind of parallel themes that are in actual fact one theme that has uh, once again the duality of the material world invested in it the more that uh, we are engaged in the battle of self-preservation the more we are isolating ourselves from the truth of our true identity in other words, uh, God is kind of like water in many ways. And I think that, especially in some of the Asian spiritual practices, this becomes very much a theme that is communicated in almost all the disciplines. Uh, that is that water is uh, always ready to advance, to move forward, to invade. And, uh, <clears throat> and it's only our ongoing efforts to keep the water out, to keep God out, to preserve our identity, to preserve the integrity of our dreams, our desires, our aspirations, that in actual fact creates this process of time. And within the process of time there is deterioration. So the more that you are uh, walling yourself in and creating a a sense of separateness the more rapidly the attrition will occur because uh, the illusion of being a personal self separate and apart from the rest of the universe is perhaps the most fatal illusions that we can aspire to we grab onto it uh, we create all these imaginative reasons for wanting to be separate. Oh, this person's toxic, that person is an axe murderer in disguise, the guy down the street is thinking negative thoughts about me. And all of those things are a barrier 
against the realization of the one true identity, the one true reality, which is that everything and everyone that has uh, even the tiniest measure of the expression of life about it, the blade of grass, the microcosm uh, unfolding in the soil, every bit of it is uh, a proclamation by that one consciousness, that one life, that one I am, that we are all joined in a common existence. So 2015 has a lot of potential. There's a lot of possibilities that are going to be coming up this year, I think, for everyone. And <clears throat> the most important way that we can encounter and engage in our lives is to step into that state of selflessness. You know, for many years, Spock from Star Trek was uh, always uh, presenting us with that one theme, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. And that is uh, another true paradox, like, like the uh, material world offers us, <coughs> because the one oftentimes does have the key to the survival of the many. And yet the survival of the many, that realization, within that we come to the understanding that uh, all of us are invested in this journey through life together. So let us approach 2015 with uh, that thought of dismantling the uh, brick and mortar barriers that we have built around ourselves. Let us uh, fill the moat in with fresh soil that is bassooned so that we can generate new life so we can plant new seeds and most importantly of all let us shift our identity the those few degrees from personal self to the true self and realize that we are invulnerable that no matter what happens or where we go or how things unfold in our personal journey we are part of an eternal expression of life and all of our silly little personal adventures that we get so devoted to and so lost within are things that uh, are just unraveling across the journey through space and time. So make this year a year of devotion and a year of service and realize that the service that you are extending to those around you is in fact for you as well. Uh, most importantly, because you are performing the act of service, you are the salvation of yourself and everyone that you encounter. So it is going to be uh, an interesting and dynamic year. Get out there and share the love, pass the love around, and have fun dismantling that old sense of self and embracing that expanded vision of who am I, I am that I am and look around you because everything that is in existence that is alive and filled with vitality is a reflection of you it is you on every level of existence so stick around I'll be putting together more um, little adventures here in my video studio and uh, for those of you who haven't been following Barrett and I uh, the Course in Miracles uh, discussions are kind of fun to plug into, so at least stop by every once in a while and sample them. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and friend me and follow me on Facebook. And uh, we're going to have a grand adventure. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs>